Hello, welcome to CirclePad starting tutorial, getting started with CirclePad. So let's go over to CirclePad and uh, just to get started when you open up CirclePad and you log in at the top here this will just show you some information about your account, your domain if you have it, some things over here. This bar over here is where you get new pages, where you open pages, save them, set up your page, things like that. And this bar on the left is where you um, make you can modify things on the page so these are all little tools for you or ways to get stuff and then the the center is just the page itself so to use circle pad you simply click and drag on things to move them around and this little blue line you make or the wand is allows you to uh, manipulate objects so you can see when I move over this bar that lets me move it or click on the object when I click on this one the little dot in the middle allows me to make things bigger and smaller and the end allows me to rotate it. So this is sort of an easy way to change anything in CirclePad and uh, position it where you want it and set it up. So the next thing, if you want to come in and uh, edit text, for example, a text is a little bit different than shapes, you can come in and w the first time you click on it, it gives you the line. The second time you click on it, there's a box and then you can change all your stuff inside that box. So when you see the text box that means you can go and drag and select part of it. So we can say uh, here's some new text text, and then I can go make changes with there. So if I select the text over here that I can go do things like change the color. So if I click on color or drag this color this part here and I want that to be green or even under edit text over here I could make it bigger or smaller. Now if I want a new piece of text um, I can go just click on new text over here and then I can place it wherever I want. To get photos I just go click on the photo thing. If I want to load a new photo from my computer I load it there. If I want a sample photo that comes with, uh, with circle pad I can get it and here I'll just load up a, uh, a photo here. I've got a, uh, oh I don't know, I'll load uh, some tomatoes. So as I move this around, again, the photo works exactly the same way. If I want the photo bigger or smaller, I can I can work with it that way. Now, if I want to load some new shapes, uh, first of all, I've got a bunch of stuff on my page. Let's say I don't want this uh, anymore. I just select it. I can hit the delete key. Or I can go over here and hit edit objects. Over here is a delete key too. So I can select this and then hit delete. And then it's gone. Now if I want to undo, I can hit undo and then I've got my objects back. Or I can redo, which will get rid of it again. So undo and redo works great in circle pad. And you can also use the hotkeys, control C, control V for that. Now if I want to, um, to change objects, like I select this one, there, when you select objects they also pull up sliders here on the top right. So this allows you to make little changes like, for example, on a star uh, change the depth or change the number of points and then you can just click on those to make changes. And finally, uh, as you move objects around, objects can go over top of each other in circle pad. This is great, but sometimes you want one over top or one in behind. Just click on edit objects, move over top, move underneath. So hopefully that's enough to get you going. Uh, thank you for this demo.